How much different is it targeting apartment owners on Google Ads versus the traditional single family distressed owner? So in 2023, our focus is to start acquiring larger properties. And we are really good with online marketing. So that's going to be our main focus for targeting these property owners who want to sell. So in this video, what I'm going to go over is exactly how we're targeting the owners, what our website says, and the message we're trying to convey to these apartment owners so they inquire on our website or call us directly. Now, with that being said, I have absolutely no clue if this is going to work, but because I'm willing to share the, the wins, the losses, the, the unknowns with you guys, hopefully you'll gain some information from this video and you can implement it in your business, whether you do it here in Wisconsin or you do it across the United States. Now, as we start talking multifamily real estate, some of you might be saying multifamily real estate, the only way you can get these leads is through broker relationships. And I find that to be wildly inaccurate. Our first multifamily property we purchased, which was an eight unit property, it was a cold call directly to the owner and he ended up taking our offer. He wanted to sell, he was looking to sell, he had owned it for 13 years and he just wanted out of the property because it was too much of a headache. And when we market directly to these owners, that's what we're hoping to do with the online ads. I'm sure that there has to be at least one, two, 10, 20 people per month searching for how to sell my apartment building or how to sell my rental property. Because what I want you to be aware of is it doesn't matter if it's a duplex, if it's a four unit, if it's an eight unit, if it's a 60 unit building, we will purchase any of them or we will put any of them under contract if the deal is good enough. And to give you a real life example of this, because you think I might be blowing smoke right now. We had an individual inquire on our website. They wanted four and a half million dollars for 84 apartment units in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now, if we do the calculations, that's roughly about $53,000 a unit, which hindsight's always 20, 20. I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, oh, that's overpriced compared to what they were getting for rent. But the current owner who purchased them from the owner that had inquired on our website, Website, bumped rents from 650 a unit all the way up to 775 a unit, drastically increasing the net operating income and exponentially increasing the value of the property, which if we would have looked at it further, if we would have had the confidence to act on that property, we could have potentially earned an assignment fee of 100, 200, maybe even $300,000. But let's get into the nitty gritty of our ad campaign. Let's jump on my computer. I'll show you what we're doing and then you can let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. So we are inside the campaign and obviously as you can tell, that we have been running for roughly three days at this point, have one click, it cost us $27.29, 18 total impressions. Now this is nothing to brag about, it's actually kind of what I expected, because you have to think, how many people own apartments that are actually looking to sell apartments compared to how many people own single family houses or a distressed property that are looking to sell a single family house or a distressed property. But when we're looking at this, we set up all of our Google Ads campaigns very similar. We will first go into our ad groups, nothing crazy to see here, but we have three ad groups. We buy apartments, property buyers, sell your apartments, each beginning at $40 cost per click. Some of you might think that's drastically high. Some of you might not even know what it means, which is totally fine. But if we first go into we buy apartments, you can see here, it's pretty much as it sounds. We buy ap apartment buildings, we buy apartments, we buy rentals, we buy duplexes, apartment buyers, we buy two flats. Now from seeing that initial ad group, you might be like, Carter, there's no freaking way I'm paying $40 per click to show up for these results. You could get something drastic in the search terms and not even be targeting the correct ideal prospect. And although that is true, let's jump into the search terms so we can actually see how this applies to our campaign. We're in the campaign search terms. We have sell apartments. That's actually not too bad. Sell my apartment is what it's showing up for. We have a buy apartment building. That's the one I just referenced. Greystone properties. Probably don't want to show up for that. I'm going to add it to our negative keyword list. Hawthorne Apartments, already excluded it. Wisconsin Tower, I excluded. I don't even know what that means. The initial search results isn't too favorable, but this has been running for two or three days at this point. There's not a whole lot of data to go off of, and I've been doing phrase match keywords. So what I might need to do is extend this into broad match keywords, see how that shakes things up, and maybe I'll have some more search terms where I can add additional keywords to my campaigns and my ad groups, or maybe I'll just have to shut this down because these search results are so piss poor that it's wasting money and throwing out money that 
that could be spent on direct mail or some other form of advertising. Now, why I chose to do online marketing versus direct mail or some other form of advertising to begin with is because online marketing has a one-to-many approach. It's not like the one-on-one -on -one conversation you have when you're cold calling. You pick up the phone, you call an owner, you have a conversation. That's one-to-one. -one. Me talking to you right now is one-to-many because there might be multiple people watching this at the same exact time. And that's no different with your website. You need to have a website that's catered towards purchasing apartment buildings, maybe from mom and pop landlords, or even from sophisticated landlords who want an easy transaction that they don't need to scare their tenants, they don't need to go to brokers, they can do a 1031 exchange without stressing about it, and that's exactly where we will go into our website so I can show you our exact messaging. So our website is simple, Wisconsin Building Buyers. Sell your apartment building in Wisconsin, no fees, no commissions, we pay fair market prices. We are buyers, not brokers, we want to buy your property. Fill out the form here, do you want a property you want to sell? We buy apartments throughout Wisconsin and at any price, check out how your process works, so on and so forth. And then it goes into the types of of properties we buy, mobile home park, apartment buildings, self storage buildings, and it's just a very clean and easy website. Of course, Carrot does all of our website design. Now, when I was customizing this site, I built it out myself. It wasn't anything crazy. It did take a little bit of time and I needed to change up all the wording instead of targeting the distressed multifamily owner. But now as we look at the messaging, let's just, let's read this for a second. For one reason or another, you may be considering selling your apartment building in Wisconsin. Whether you're looking to exchange into a bigger and better property, avoid disrupting your tenants, or you want less responsibility on the day to day, we've seen it all. Because we understand the business, we want to make it easy for you to sell, and so on and so forth. But in that copywriting, you can get a sense of the apartment owner that we're looking to target. We're not looking to take advantage of anyone. We're looking to pay fair prices for properties in fair condition. If they need a lot of work, then we'll work with it. But ultimately, we want to convey the message that we're not looking to rip someone off. Now, if we can accomplish this, if we can get owners to continually inquire on our website, maybe just in Wisconsin, maybe across the United States, or maybe just in the Midwest, the goal is to purchase these properties if possible. If they fit our buy criteria, if they're in the right areas, if they're in the right neighborhoods, and if they're a fairly decent property, we want to pursue it for a personal purchase first, that we can keep it in the portfolio, rent it out for years to come. But if that doesn't work, what we're going to try and do is wholesale these properties. With doing that, our average wholesale fee should go way up. Instead of making maybe 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars on the average wholesale fee, we are hoping to double, possibly even triple that on average, which allows us to do less work, make more money, and have more free time to, to do the things that we absolutely love to do in this life. If we do that successfully, of course, I'm going to share it with you, but otherwise hit the subscribe button down below. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.